Okay, Zally, don't watch this video until you have this PC with you. So I got tired of a friend having PC issues, so I made this PC for them to use until they get their stuff repaired. They have this ASUS pre-built, and they sent it in. And they sent it back, saying they fixed it. But you know what? They didn't fucking fix it. Thanks, ASUS. So anyways, I grabbed things I had sitting around, and began to plan out a build. I know smaller, more compact PCs don't break as easily in shipping, and it helps that it doesn't have any glass panels. So this ITX PC cooler case fit what I needed. Plus, I always want to build in this case, and all I can say, it's pretty straightforward to build in. It also did include instructions, so that's a minor gripe. I also wish it came with its own riser cables. First, I bought one with 90 degree slot at the end. It ended up interfering with the case. Okay. And next, I bought another one. It was too short. So I just ended up using both. Big brain move, huh? Alright, so let's get down to business. We'll start off with everyone's favorite half-blood prince of a GPU, the GTX 1060 3 gig. I made a standalone video on this card before, and you can check it up up there. But to remind everyone, this card was launched August 2016, a little after the full-fledged 1060, and everyone had problems because it was a cut-down version in almost every aspect. At stock, Base clocks are 1506 MHz and will boost up to 1708 MHz with a memory clock of 2002 MHz. For anyone who wants to know, it has 1152 CUDA cores. Most 3 gig variants usually just use a 6 pin power connector. It's a pretty power efficient card, all things considered. I want to make sure Zadly at least got a GeForce card for NVENC to help with streaming. Now moving on, we have ourselves the i7-2600, the normal one, without the special K. Launched January 2011, this ancient by tech standards chip was something I had laying around, because the only ITX motherboard I had in stock was for socket 1155. 4 cores and 8 threads, this chip for the most part can mostly keep up. It might be missing some features such as AVX2, but will launch and run everything you throw at it. Running at 3.4 GHz, this can boot up to 3.8 GHz. If only this was the K variant, maybe we could have gotten this bad boy up to 4 point something, but I'll tell you more about that later. And its TDP is 95 watts by the way. That's not all. Amazon thought they lost the SSD and CPU cooler, so they refunded it, even if I have them. So instead, $272.55, I spent more like $230.61. Lucky me. Like always, we'll do the synthetics real fast. For Cinebench R23, the multi score is 2838, and the single score is 717. For 3D Mark, Fire Strike is 9,627, and Time Spy is 3,715. And real fast if you care, PC Mark is 4,053. Now let's get on to the gaming benchmarks.
with Warzone, even at the basic preset, I probably didn't apply an aggressive enough FSR, but performed about the same with or without it. Maybe I'll try minimum at lower resolutions next time. In Cyberpunk, I suggest lowering the resolution or even performance FSR instead, because it's not a smooth experience at the settings I benched it at. I had to go into the config files and unlock the frame rate and disable VSync. Anyway, this is a game Zadly likes to play, and I had to include it in the benchmarks, as well as Left 4 Dead 2. I've proven in the past you're able to stream on lower end hardware and even while VTubing, so I believe Zadly can use this PC to get by. I'll probably do some test streams for this PC, so look out for those. I wish I had a better cooler for this, but since it's just a base 2600, it's fine. Though with a better cooler, it could have probably maintained its boosts longer. The 1063 gig is an okay card for gaming, but I mainly want to give Zadly something I had on hand with NBank. Even if it's not new NBank, it should still do the job. As long as they set their expectations right, it should be able to help them reach their goal and get them back on their feet. Now, have you ever experienced these parts or possibly even still run them? Let me know down below. I'm Man Hero, something of a virtual YouTuber myself. Like if you like and dislike if you didn't like it or simply just hate me. Subscribe for more or if you're just masochistic, see you next video. Bye bye. I put the new 4G's on the G I trap until the bloody bottom is underneath Cause all my homies got it out the street I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans I remember hitting the mall with my whole team Now a homie can't answer calls cause I'm balling I was waking up getting racks in the morning I was